Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we want to talk about our trip up to the Burrell Local Online Advertising Conference in New York. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to the Brown Bag. Yeah, Chad, it was a great trip down to New York City. Uh, this conference was quite interesting. Again, this was the Burrell uh, Local Online Advertising Conference uh, at the Grand Hyatt uh, in Manhattan. And it was well attended by a lot of publishers. Uh, we had TV stations, radio stations, newspapers. You know, Some of the big names were there. We talked to the Chicago Tribune, Pandora Music, stopped by, a very popular radio station that uh, uses streaming for delivery. You know, Gannett and Clear Channel were also there. And I think this conference is very interesting to me, Chad, because you know we're typically in the SEO reseller space and talking to our seller community. And most of those folks find us because they're already in selling and doing SEO and are looking for scale and white label, the things we typically talk about. The folks we ran into at this conference, though, are coming from a very different place. These are publishers and coming out of the advertising side, out of the display side, and sort of backing into SEO. I think a lot of them just have no awareness of the SEO reseller space. But when you get down to the nuts and bolts of what they're looking for, which is I think we should cover today in our brown bag, it's very interesting how these worlds are, are colliding. Absolutely. And uh, you know, one of the most interesting sessions that I went to, I attended the, the digital agency track, and, and they provided a lot of inf interesting information about what some of these larger media companies are selling today and what they're looking to sell in 2014. So I have a couple stats from, from Burrell and the research that they've done. Um, one of the stats was that basically um, uh, today about 73% are st of, of large media companies are selling online um, display advertising. And essentially uh, that, that includes mobile advertising at 55.7%. They're also doing some social media advertising at 41.8% and search engine marketing, 39.2% of these companies, these publishers Adam's talking about, are, are selling these services. The big growth area, though, is really moving into digital marketing services. And today, 38% of these companies are selling digital marketing services. What I thought was interesting was to maybe quote some of the categories within digital marketing that they're selling. The biggest one is SEO. So 82% of, um, of, again, these companies are selling SEO then it goes to 76% of ad retargeting. Right after that was website development at 71%. And then content marketing is uh, surprisingly there at 58%. So really, I think the big trend was that, and what people were talking about um, at, the, at the conference, was that these digital marketing services are a growth area, and it's a way to control more of the, the share of the advertiser spend. And so a lot of our SEO reseller typical customers, the small website developer, the local digital marketing agency, you know, they're now going to be uh, competing with some of the larger um, advertisers that are out that have existing relationships in and, and radio and TV and print. So it's, it's an interesting uh, place where we are, Adam, in this. Yeah, it is interesting, and I, I think what's fascinating to me is just that the folks at this conference, you know, don't identify themselves as I want to be an SEO reseller. That's just not where they're at. They're not. They're not coming from that. But when you look at those stats, and and when we have these discussions, they they do want to be that. They just don't know that's where they need to be. When you start getting into it, they're they're looking to grow revenue. They're suffering losses because a lot of their traditional ad revenue streams have been gobbled up uh, by Google and Microsoft and Yahoo. And so as you start to explore, they're 100% comfortable with the distributor, reseller, OEM type model, and they're all trying to get into the SMB market. I mean, every conversation I had, Chad, was about you know, what do you really do for the small and medium-sized business. It was all SMB focused. So again, it's just interesting to me how that industry is moving more towards where we've already seen these web design and agency consultants who are in our SEO reseller community today already are, and they're definitely coming closer. So I think that's going to be very interesting. Of course, also our friends from uh, Google were there, our rep was there, and, and our friends from Bing and Microsoft were also there, but they were more trying to sell to us, of course, because... Uh, they want to make sure they, they kind of are probably fighting this trend, Chad, right? They don't want to see it move more into SEO uh, and these other organic things. They want to keep the money right where it is in PPC. Yeah, absolutely. And then I think once you get there that you need to be selling these services and the digital marketing agency services, um, the, the big question what people were trying to understand is should they build these, these larger agencies, should they build their own um, agency or should they outsource it? And this we've had this discussion many times, Adam, and so you know here we are again, sort of looking at why do why do you build something? Why do you why do you outsource? 
And a lot of times with outsourcing, and this is I think the, the really the crux of the matter for these companies is, are they good at building uh, digital marketing services in-house or should they work with a, a third party who is focused on that 100%? And a couple things that I, I continue to hear being the, you know, really the Achilles heels of, of this strategy for, for a lot of these companies is whether or not they're going to be able to do this with margin that's acceptable for their tradi- the business that, they're, uh, that they are traditionally used to selling, broadcast media, print, and newspaper. I think all of them acknowledge that the margins are definitely lower in agency services, but I think at the same time, they're making a lot of mistakes in some cases where they're trying to be too custom to a group of customers out there that really can't afford custom. So Adam, I think you had some discussions about average price points that a lot of people were paying. What did you hear there on that? Yeah, I mean, this is the classic, you know, uh, I got a Volkswagen budget, but I'm trying to give you a Cadillac, and I don't care what business you're in, that just doesn't work. So, yeah, many times people come up to the booth from some of these bigger publishers and distributors, and I would say, what's your, you know, price point need to be for the small business? And they're saying, yeah, we need it to be, you know, three, four hundred dollars retail, and we're saying, wow, that's tight. I mean, Chad, you and I have just covered in some of our video responses uh, that piece by Pratik a few weeks ago, and he said a small business can't even really do SEO for six hundred dollars a month retail. So this is a real strategic issue, and again, I think our SEO resellers have this better understood because these are small guys. They're used to dealing with small businesses, and they're used to dealing with very, very tight margins, and so they figured out how to keep the scope very contained and keep their clients happy. I think some of these uh, bigger publishers are still coming along that learning curve, but they're going to have to crack that. They just can't come in with a boutique approach and say, yeah, I'm going to get you know, my the, you know, 40 sales rep or 100 sales reps to go out and sell this differently every time when it's a $499 a month product and we're going to have this great margin. I, I think there's just, they're just not there yet. But I think it's a fascinating place to be, Chad. And just like the BIA Kelsey conference in San Francisco, you know, as we looked around that room, we saw what every other booth was like this point service, a lot of display, retargeting, reputation management, ad creation services, video creation services, but we really didn't see anyone like us, and we certainly didn't see anyone from the SEO reseller community in that room with us. So I think it's a good place to be, and I think this industry is definitely changing, and I'm sure we'll have more to report on this soon. If you have questions or want to hear more about the data that we learned at this conference, uh, please drop us a comment, and we hope you'll subscribe. We'll see you back tomorrow.